So humans have decided to send a bunch of music into space for aliens, and we've decided to listen to those songs right now. A radio telescope all the way in Norway has sent signals into space, and it's trying to hit an exoplanet called GJ273b. And the reason for that planet is because it's in the Goldilocks region, meaning it's the perfect distance from a star, a red dwarf star called the Leuchten star, meaning that it's not too cold, that all the water is frozen, it's not too hot, that all the water is evaporated, and the hope is that there's aliens there. And we have now sent them songs. This has been done by METI, which stands for Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence, which they've done before, but it's kind of controversial because if we're sending out these messages and they're received by aliens, and then they can come back, that means that their technology is better than ours, and we all know how that ends. Also, Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks it's a bad idea. So, mm. I am on his team, and honestly, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna end well for us. Okay, so we're gonna listen to the first song, which is Sorry by Justin Bieber, okay? One of the most classic, I'm just kidding. Honestly, we probably should. Okay, so. They don't need that. Okay, so the first one is, is by Francisco Lopez, and it was sent on October 16th. This one's called be good. Untitled number 354. It's like, come on, name your song. Okay, I don't want to get deep, but that's not music. That, first of all, like, sounded literally like a car exploding. And Imagine. then, and then, like, a fake fish sound in water, like, from Zelda, like. Imagine, like, spending four years decoding a message and being like, Why, Francis, we've got it! And it's like. Wait, why do the aliens have, like, this strange hybrid of a British accent? Next, we've got Holly Herndon. <laughs> Her name's Holly Herndon. Oh, she's oh. cute! Oh, yeah. She has, like, a little, like, thought photo and everything. She has a, a short explanation of what it's about. It's called Together. It says, we wanted the extraterrestrials, or <laughs> beings of life different from us, mm -hmm. to understand that we are a collaborative species. We also wanted the message and the tone to be happy and celebratory. That's why we opted for a choral piece. There were some whale sounds, I was into, into it. that. Does that not sound like Moana? Next we have something by The Black Madonna. This piece is a small tribute to the manual, how to have a number one easy way. What? Again, it's Google Translate, so. Oh, <laughs> because it's not in English. <laughs> Boom! That was some Brooklyn bullshit. I guess I'm trying to understand like, so these are all being like put out a day by day or something like that. These right? were all put out on the 16th of October, sent oh, okay. through this radio wow. signal. Yeah. So this is literally alien radio. We are just giving them free content. It's like, pay for that. Have you not heard of YouTube Red? We'll get some ads. Have you not yeah. heard of Spotify? <laughs> this one's Olafur Arnold, sent on the 17th. I think he's Scandinavian. That means you've got Robin, you've got Bjork, you've got Tovlo, you've got all the great mm -hmm. artists. Mm. I have to sneeze. Oh. Like a sneeze could be a good thing to send. Or a fart. I wanted I wanted to project the idea of tranquility and beauty in space to the extraterrestrials. Oh, that's nice. Into it. Yeah, that was pretty. Me like it. It also reminded me of like an old Microsoft boot up, you know, and they're like, yeah, oh, they're like, bleh, 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 bleh. that's like the <laughs> best noise ever because, like, as a kid, it was like, it meant like porn. <laughs> I like that one too because I feel like if an alien decoded the binary, learned all the mathematics of us, and like heard that, they would be like, oh, they're so peaceful. Like, they'd have no idea that we, like, kill each other. Okay, how are the aliens decoding this message? Like, okay, we're pretty, They literally want them to learn They're just hoping that they're, like, it. so smart. smart. Yeah. I guess it's not, like, the average Joe Jane alien, right? Yeah, they're calling up <laughs> their version of Stephen Hawking, and they're right. running their Neil deGrasse Tyson in the okay. room, and they're saying, sit that your ass sense. down, and sense. you're gonna <laughs> arrival this shit. What are they saying? And they're getting their smartest uh. <laughs> redhead to figure that shit out, okay? Okay, this one's from someone called Laurent Garnier, or Laurent... <laughs> Garnier. Mitchell, it's a Laurent Garnier. <laughs> Say it with me, Laurent Garnier, okay? You're not French. Dear friends from outer space, ah, bon. in France, we say that hope makes us alive. Ah, so bon. I hope to hear your response in 25 years. Peace. I like this explanation. Yeah, it's none nice. of that artsy, like, Aww. Dear friends, what note is missing at the end? Answer A, answer B, answer C. Wow. Ew. That is horrifying. That was scary. It said something creepy. It was like, okay. there is a note missing. Listen to yeah, me. Yeah, and that's why like his nice message where he's like, 
can't wait to hear back from you guys. Please send a retweet. It's like he's so actually scary. like answer our creepy song that says is it A, B, or C. Or on Garnier, we had so much hope. So this one is by Mode Skeletor. I don't know if you've heard about them, but if you have, they're blowing Ooh, up love on Mode SoundCloud. Skeletor. <laughs> the sound of an engine, the engine of a car. I've recorded it with my laptop outside. Okay, this is too much. People, we are sending this to aliens, but what I mean, I guess it's technology. <laughs> Are you cereal? I guess that was a car. Also, how was that your car? Because at the end, it was fully a fart. It was like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> imagine he just like fart. <gasps> Earlier, I caught something. This is what we're gonna send no. to space. I was filming Greg on my Instagram, and he decided to let our little music, the name of the, of the tune is hey. called Flatulence. Are you actually gonna play this? Yes. No. What are you doing? That was a fart. I'm having a bit of a night. Shot me a holla, Medi. Like, I will fart into a thing. And I can write, I, I bet I could write hey. the best artistic yeah. thing about my farts. It, I would love to send a song to space, right? Like if ASAP Science did a song. This is your science love song. Next up, we have Fatima. Um, and uh, she says, originally- Wow, you really sold this one. Originally, the eight minute piece. Oh, oh it wasn't sorry, girl, piece. you only got eight yeah, okay, seconds. <laughs> Wait, that is that's, that's the American the, anthem. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Like that was for like the cool aliens who were like, yeah, that's like a yeah, deep but really, cut did on she have an eight-minute version of that? That was shade. So it's called B1 Loop. Ooh, they look cool. Oh my god, the only thing they wrote is it's from our song B. Oh, these girls, they got confidence. Wow, I told you they had confidence. Like, I could just only up. keep thinking about being like playing and playing it. Like they're decoding it and they're just like, why no. are you sending this to us? How do you say this? Autocre? Mitch, it's autocre. Okay. No! Do you think that they like shredded that? Do you think that they were like, no, 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 no. And I guess it's nice that it's variable. Like everything yeah. so far, if it was just music, it might be confusing. Whereas at least this is just like noises and stuff that like all sound very distinct from one another. Yeah. This is Matmos. Mm. It's Mario! Yeah, and like, they died at the so end! Nostalgic. Yeah, was, bruh, 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 bruh. That sounded so much like Was that NES. plastic? I don't understand. No, I love that. that. I like actually want yeah, to hear more of that song. That. <laughs> Mitch, like, Mitch would fully listen to that. <laughs> this is gonna be our last one. This was sent on the 17th. It's by Code9. We hope it will be a grand finale. And mm -hmm. to be honest, the likelihood is that this is just gonna be shot out into space and no one's ever gonna hear it. And like, maybe it just stay that way. <laughs> Ew, I hated that. I actually, like, my heart is racing from that one. It was that so was creepy. ASMR, right? When they're like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I don't know what he said. It was just scary. I feel like I'm at, like, a modern art gallery and I'm being like, I could do that. Like, I don't think I'm being very open to what this is. It's pretty cool. I no, guess. I think the ideas are cool. And yeah. I, I love the idea of communicating with aliens, but I understand, like, the extremely high risk that it comes with, especially if they can communicate back what that means. So those are the songs that we're sending into space. Already sent. Have we have already, already sent, sent into space for October aliens 16th, to October 16th, 17th, and 18th. So, okay. so counting the days. We'll see when aliens And they're doing the it again. Medi will be sending it again using the same radio telescope in the spring. Oh, so that means that we can send a yeah, song. Yeah, get your submissions in there. Drop it on SoundCloud, drop it on Spotify. <laughs> Here we go. We this should. is what we're gonna send. One, two, Three, go. We're sending you our song. The song sending that tells you we are homo sapien sapien. We tell you that we have skin. We are brains. We have eyes. We see you. Don't hurt us. Medi, oh. call us. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully we are all gonna be safe. Hopefully and likely this is all just gonna go into oblivion. No one's ever gonna hear it. Otherwise so. we're probably all gonna die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so thank you very much and peace be with you and Bye all the aliens. Bye. <laughs>